your Fox in Oklahoma City. Fox 25. First. Fast. Fox. The 9 o'clock news starts now. It's a year-round problem that grows during the holiday season. Tonight, consumers beware. Thanks for joining us. I'm Brad Wheelis. And I'm Colleen O'Quinn. First on Fox tonight, a warning for those who like to give during the holidays. Watch out. You may end up being part of a scam. Fox 25's Phyllis Williams is in the newsroom with more. Phyllis? Well, Colleen, experts say fraud is a problem that doesn't go away. It only increases during the holiday season, a time when people like to give and cons like to steal. Well, because I think that there's more children and more people out there in more need than I am. And when I see that, it hurts me, and I want to be able to give as much as I can possibly can. It's time giving and Thanksgiving and Christmas come up. And there's a lot of homeless people, and there's a lot of people that uh, it's not, it's not unfortunate for a lot of people that are. And that's the attitude that thieves are banking on. So they uh, make every effort to... Uh, make their charities sound like uh, legitimate uh, charitable organizations and what they're really doing is sticking your money in their pocket. Criminals are trying everything from telemarketing scams to letters asking you to contribute to a bogus organization. And although it hasn't happened in the metro yet, crooks are posing as Salvation Army bell ringers in cities across the country. The most obvious things to look for uh, bell ringers will all have an apron on like this with a name tag that has the Salvation Army shield. On the buckets, they're all going to have a lock holding it closed, and they're going to have the cross on top. And those, if they have those four things, the chances are they're a legitimate bell ringer for the Salvation Army. So what is the best way to keep from becoming a victim? Do your homework. Call organizations like the Better Business Bureau or the Attorney General's office to make sure the charity in question is legitimate. Don't be pressured into giving. Never give cash and never give out your credit card number. Now keep in mind there are a lot of legitimate organizations out there that do a good job of helping people. And those charities will not hesitate to provide you with any information. Colleen? Phyllis, what should you do if you've been scammed? Well, if you realize that you've been scammed by a fraudulent organization, report it to the AG's office or the Better Business Bureau. You can prevent it from happening to someone else. Colleen? All right, thank you. Phyllis Williams reporting. An update tonight on a shooting that happened during Thanksgiving. Oklahoma City police have identified a man shot to death last night. Police say that 18-year-old Keith Jeffries was shot at a residence on Northeast 19th Street. 36-year-old Donna Smith is being held on a first-degree murder complaint. Police also said the shooting was drug-related. El Reno police are putting a federal grant to good use catching drug dealers. Police say they have arrested 23 people and closed 14 methamphetamine labs with the help of funding from a $75,000 federal grant. That grant and $25,000 contributed locally is helping the department pay for two officers who dedicate all their time to working on drug cases. A teenager and his mother are getting $25,000 as part of a settlement with the city of Broken Arrow. The city is settling a civil lawsuit that claimed police officers used excessive force after a chase in 1997 involving 19-year-old Nathan Mullins. The civil lawsuit had originally sought $1.5 million from the city and five officers. Police in Tulsa say there is a dangerous suspect on the loose. They say Edward Beaver broke into three homes, stole a car, and robbed a Tulsa motel yesterday morning. Beaver was already charged with kidnapping, forcible sodomy, and first-degree rape of a Tulsa teenager in September. Terry Nichols' defense is costing taxpayers plenty. Although his state murder trial is on hold, Nichols' defense has reportedly cost $66,000 already. Payment orders on four more bills were filed Wednesday. Nichols is already serving a life sentence for his conviction in federal court for plotting to blow up the Alfred P. Murrah federal building. A Creek County school district has expelled a 13-year-old boy for the rest of the year after he allegedly considered poisoning another student's drink. A report says the student had contemplated lacing the drink with rat poison, bleach, and pine salt because the student made fun of the boy's weight. The boy told authorities he wasn't going to use the poison, but that having it made him feel in control of the situation. An analyst with the State Corporation Commission disagrees with cost savings estimates made by Oklahoma Gas and Electric Company. OG&E says that customers will save about $83 million during a 30-month period under a performance-based regulatory plan the utility is proposing. But a Corporation Commission analyst says ratepayers will wind up losing close to a million dollars under this plan. And the Corporation Commission will hold a hearing on the case next month.
Some trees are standing out more than others tonight. Tree Fest 99 is now open at the Omniplex in the Metro. Over 40 lighted and decorated trees are on display. The trees representing different countries, crafts, cultures, and themes will be on display from now until January 2nd. And it is starting to feel a little more like the season these it days. It is, huh? just a little bit. But is it going to stay cool? Meteorologist Marissa Ferger is in the Weather Center with First Weather. Marissa? Well, Colleen, today was actually the first warm day we've had in a few days. We were 12 degrees above the average for this time of the year, and it looks like tomorrow is going to be just as warm and mild. But tonight, it, things are going to cool down. Once again, we're expecting clear skies with a temperature tonight dipping down to 39 degrees with southerly winds at 4 to 8 miles per hour. But for tomorrow, mostly sunny skies. The temperatures in the upper 60s once again. We'll start out in the morning with the winds out of the southwest, but a very weak cold front's going to come through the region. By the afternoon hours, the winds will shift to a more northwesterly fashion, and it looks like the temperatures <laughs> will cool down a little bit on Sunday, but nothing that's going to really feel like Christmas. So our overnight lows will still be in the upper 30s, and our daytime highs will still be in the 60s. And it looks like for tomorrow's big game down in Norman, it's going to be gorgeous. So anybody who's going to cheer for OSU and OU tomorrow, be prepared because it's going to be a great day, and I'm sure it's going to be a great game. Colleen? All right, I'm sure a lot of people happy to hear that. Thanks, Marissa. We'll check in with you again at 919. If you weren't shopping today, chances are you were getting into the holiday spirit in other ways. But perhaps maybe putting up the lights or picking out that perfect tree. Fox 25's Jessica Willie did both, and she joins us live from a popular light-gazing neighborhood now. Jess? Well, Brad, if you've been around Oklahoma City long enough, you know that the Ski Island neighborhood here in northwest Oklahoma City never lets you down during the holidays. Lights are part of the tradition here, as they are in other parts of the city. You just got to see what you like and just kind of enjoy it, I guess. This is 17-year-old Travis Brown's fourth year to adorn his parents' house with holiday lights. The first year, he's using the icicle ones. That's more of a dramatic effect. These are going to twinkle as well. And certainly not the last. Lights, he says, are just part of the season. They look beautiful. It's, it's just it's all in the spirit. You know, Christmas, I love the, that time of year. Uh, and the lights just go hand in hand with it. And, of course, the other tradition that goes hand-in-hand hand with the holidays, Christmas trees. That one would be kind of tall. Heather Williamson and her family have been coming to the Meyer Christmas tree farm for the last three years. See how its base is a little bit curved? It's a tradition for them to find a live tree to take home, and they like theirs bald and burlapped. They say because it outlives the holidays. Can we put our name on this one? I'll come back tomorrow and actually load it in the truck get it all prepared. Owner Chris Meyer agrees, but also offers trees that folks can cut down. It's up to the customer, but he says live is always best. You get the smell, you get the freshness, you get to take the family out, uh, the kids get to pick them out. I think it's more for the children. Now the Meyer Christmas Tree Farm offers several different varieties of trees from Virginia pine to scotch, Brad. And Jessica, what's the price range of those trees? Well, of course, you have several different options. You can cut your, your own down, or you can buy them bald and burlapped, and they range anywhere from $35 to $65. Right. Back to you. Thank you, Jessica Willey, reporting. And straight ahead on the 9 o'clock news, the health problems associated with holiday travel. To find out what you need to be aware of if you're riding the airways or the roadways this season. That's coming up at 921. But first, a California driver leads police on a high-speed chase for hours this afternoon. We'll show you how it all ends coming up next in our Fox Satellite Center. Joe and mayhem in the Mustang. This is horrible. Judge Joe Brown. Tonight at 10 on Oklahoma City's Fox 25. On the Fox Saturday Night of Justice, Texas cops, tall on action, short on words. Roll over. Sit up. Sit down. Stop. You understand me? And all new cops. Then, anchor women from across the country have their self-defense skills put to the test. See how they did on America's Most Wanted. Saturday at 7 on Oklahoma City's Fox 25. This is Anniversary Month at Ferguson Pontiac Buick GMC in Norman. 25 years in business means $25 over invoice and you keep the rebates. That means Suburban's price $19.75 under invoice. Bonneville's $24.75 under invoice. 2,000 Grand Am's $4.75 under invoice. $7.25 under on 2,000 Centuries. $25 over invoice on GMC Extended Cabs. $12.25 under invoice on 2,000 Sonoma Trucks. $14.75 under invoice on 2,000 Four-Door Jimmy's. 25 years, 25 over invoice and you keep the rebates at Ferguson Pontiac Buick GMC on the Mylar Cars in Norman. The special moments in life, before you know it, they're gone. 
Economy Hearing Aid Centers wants to take this moment to remind you that the most important part of life is spending time with the ones you love. Make each day special. Take nothing for granted. The most precious gift you can give your loved ones is yourself. This beautiful moment is brought to you by the family at Economy Hearing Aid Centers. I see skies of blue and clouds of white and I think to myself Discover Estee Lauder Pleasures and Lauder Pleasures for Men. New pleasures, new surprises. For her, shower gel, smoothing spray, perfume, and scented candle. For him, cologne spray, shaving balm, and travel clock. Now at Dillard's. The 9 o'clock news with Brad Wheelis, Colleen O'Quinn, meteorologist Marissa Ferger's weather, and sports with Brent Skarkey. In news from across the nation tonight, seven members of one family are dead after an accident in New Orleans. And they were traveling on Interstate 10 when their minivan was crushed against a guardrail by a tractor trailer. Six people in another car were also injured. In other news coming into our Fox Satellite Center tonight, we want you to take a look at this, a high-speed chase in Southern California. A police officer shot and killed the man after a three-hour chase through five counties. Police tried to pull him over for expired license plates. Police and the driver were clocked at speeds of up to 90 miles an hour. Three people were killed when a small plane crashed into a neighborhood in New Jersey today. The single-engine plane was headed to Dulles International Airport in Virginia. Officials say the plane first hit a Kentucky Fried Chicken restaurant, struck several cars, and then crashed into a factory, setting the building on fire. One witness says the plane crash sounded like a bomb exploding. Car started blowing, boom, boom, boom. So I just left, yo, and came over here and called the um, 911 and told them that the plane crashed. 22 people were hurt. So far, no word on what caused that crash. A homeless woman is in critical condition after being severely burned as she rode a subway train in New York City. The woman engulfed in flames walked through a subway car as stunned passengers looked on. A transit worker finally came to her assistance with a fire extinguisher. Police are looking for a man who might have been a witness. The woman is hospitalized with third-degree burns over 60% of her body. A bittersweet win for Texas A&M today. The Aggies beat the University of Texas Longhorns this afternoon. But the game comes a week after the bonfire stack collapsed, which claimed 12 lives at the college. Jeff Crilly has the story. Thank you. It had all the looks of any other Texas A&M game. But once you got inside the stadium, you knew this year the annual matchup was different. It's been an emotional week for everyone, and most hope that somehow this game would help the healing. The game ought to offer a, a chance for people to think football and to think about the wonders of life. The Aggie helmets were decorated with bonfire emblems, but an even more obvious reminder of what Aggies have been through could be found on the sidelines. Students who survived the collapse cheered from wheelchairs, and their presence alone was a testament to the Aggie 12th man spirit. I've had tears. I'm not going to, I mean, the tears have been here, but you know, what do you expect? We lost 12 Aggies. I lost three of my dear friends. Uh, you know, I'm lucky to be here. No one expects the rivalry to disappear. There's way too much history for that to happen. But from this tragedy comes a mutual respect that promises to carry on long after this game is forgotten. Fox is Jeff Crilly reporting. Brent Skarkey will have more on the game in sports coming up at 9.55 this evening. In news from around the world tonight, American investigators are headed home from Egypt. They've been there for a week as part of the probe into the Egypt Air Flight 990 crash. And meanwhile, ABC News is reporting that pilot error may not be the cause. An independent Austrian group says there might have been a flight stabilizer breakdown. Now, that would explain why the plane plunged into the sea. No comment from U.S. authorities on this just yet. A desperate surge continues off the coast of China as rescue teams try to find survivors from what is now being called the country's worst disaster at sea. More than 150 people died when a ferry burst into flames, 
broke apart and sank in freezing and stormy waters Wednesday night. At least 30 people are still missing. An investigation there is underway. Energy experts in the Ukraine have turned on the only remaining reactor at the Chernobyl nuclear plant today. The decision to switch on the reactor comes amid strong international pressure to keep the, sh the site shut down. It is the last unit still in operation at Chernobyl, where the world's worst nuclear accident took place in April of 1986. 31 people died in the incident, and thousands of others were affected by the blast. Fire and old age have since forced the closure of the two other reactors at that plant. And that's what's making news around the world tonight. Colleen, back to you. Thank you, Brad. Just ahead on the 9 o'clock news, how much exercise will it take to burn off those Thanksgiving calories? We'll tell you in Medical Breakthroughs at 927. And if you're worried about burning off those calories, we have some great walking weather for you. I'll have your forecast coming up next. Y2K, the hamburger guys have Fry 2K. At Performance Dodge, it's Fly 2K. That's right, Fly 2K. All you have to do is buy a newer used car between now and the end of the month, and we'll include two airline tickets anywhere the airline flies in the 48 contiguous states. Spring break, vacation, honeymoon, you got a year to use it. It's exclusive, Fly 2K at Performance Dodge. It's easier than you think. It's easier at Performance Dodge. It's just for feet. Just for feet. More than just We got 4,000 styles. Favorite brands of hats and clothes. Warm-ups, too. This week. It's just for feet. All the best name brands. On sale. The best size on earth. Warm-ups from Reebok and Fila. 99 dollars Warm-ups from Asics. 49 dollars Wilson's Leaf Warm-ups. 39 dollars Warm-ups from Eastway. Only 29 dollars Plus a huge selection of insulated jackets. Only 19 dollars Just for feet. My kids love Free popcorn. Go basketball court. And I got a free pair for me. Just for feet. With a 13th pair. It's free. Coming up on the 9 o'clock news, Santas are out in droves. Get a look at what these guys will be up to. We make uh, probably 10, 15 percent of the business that we make all year. We make on this day sometimes. It's a big shopping day, but will it be big enough? We'll take a look at local retail stores. Plus, is Oklahoma City prepared for Y2K problems? We'll take a look at what the agencies you rely on are doing to be ready for New Year's Eve. The Sooners made it to the Sweet 16 last season. This year, success will be raining down again on the Oklahoma basketball squad. Sooner basketball is red hot and nothing is going to put out that fire. Time is running out to be part of the action at Lloyd Noble Center as Oklahoma goes for the gold in 99-2000. Be there. Call 325-2424. That's 325-2424. Everything in our inventory has got a sale tag on it. It's sellout time at Marquis Furniture, and we want to sell it out. And an added bonus, six months to pay for it without one penny in interest with approved credit. The place to shop for furniture right now is Marquis Furniture in Shawnee, in Enid, in Stillwater, and in Ardmore. Sale tags on everything in our inventory. The best price in Oklahoma, a huge selection of quality name brand furniture. Marquis Furniture is the place to shop. Put us on your Christmas list. Marissa Perger's Weather, brought to you by Sonic, America's Drive-In. Forty Sidewalk Santa volunteers paraded through the streets of Midtown Manhattan today to kick off their annual campaign to raise money for food for the needy. The Sidewalk Santas collect money for a holiday food voucher program. The Sidewalk Santas can be seen at busy Midtown Manhattan locations, ringing bells and collecting donations. We've had a couple of cold nights here, and that's felt really good and seems like Christmas. Maybe a little bit more like Christmas. Yeah, a little more. <laughs> Starting to feel like it a little bit, but the past few days, right before Thanksgiving, the temperatures were only in the middle 50s for daytime highs. But once again today, the temperature warmed up well above the average for this time of the year. Today, our high got up to 68 very warm degrees, and that's 12 degrees above the normal for this time of the year. However, this morning was quite chilly. We got down to the freezing point at 32 degrees, which is a little bit below the average for this time of the year. The record high, a very warm 81 degrees, set back in 1910. The record low, a very chilly 13 degrees. Sunset tonight was at 518, so those days are getting shorter. And again, our temperature was well above the normal for this time of the year, 12 degrees above the normal for the daytime highs, three below, however, for the low. That makes us 281 total degrees above normal for the month of November, and that averages out to about 10.8 degrees per day. So it's been very, very warm. For the low temperature, it averages out to 5.7 degrees above the normal. So again,
the month of November has been pretty warm. The allergy report, all we have are mold spores to contend with, and they are at the low count right now. And again, this report is from last Wednesday because the allergy clinic was closed today, as were a lot of places across the metro. Right now, 46 degrees, relative humidity at 55 percent. A few high clouds out there. The pressure is falling, and the winds are out of the south-southeast at 9 miles per hour. So tonight, it's not going to be as cold as we had last night because those winds will be out of the south. However, we do have a very weak cold front making its way into our region, and that will cool things down for tomorrow night as well as Sunday during the day. But tomorrow, a gorgeous day, a guaranteed high of 69 degrees. And again, during the day, our winds will start out out of the south, but once that front comes through, they'll be more out of the northwest. Tomorrow night, 38 degrees, and on Sunday, we're going to have a high of 65. So this isn't much of a cold front. It's more of a cool front, and it will be breezy throughout the weekend. Across the metro tonight, a little bit warmer than what we had last night with our lows getting down into the mid to upper 30s. And for tomorrow, we will start out out of the southwest as the winds are, and then the front will come through. We'll warm up into the 60s, however, upper 60s, nearing 70 degrees, and the winds will be about 10 to 15 miles per hour. Across the state tonight, the upper 30s and lower 40s. And for tomorrow, a gorgeous day across Oklahoma in the upper 60s and lower 70s. And if you're planning on going to Norman, it is going to be a beautiful day for a very good game, let's hope, with the temperature at kickoff about 68 degrees, mostly sunny skies, and the wind starting out out of the southwest, but by the end of the game should be out of the northwest. So tomorrow's game looking good. Yeah. All right, a lot of football today. You were probably, though, at the mall shopping, right, for our Christmas gift? <laughs> of course, I had so much to do, so many different jobs. <laughs> no, of course I was watching football. You had A&M on TV, also mm -hmm. had that Nebraska game, and we do have a lot of football to talk about tonight, but we'll get to that a little bit later. Right now, it's time to hit the ice with the Blazers. Oklahoma City coming from behind last night to beat Wichita tonight, taking on Tulsa at the Myriad. Let's put on the skates, lace up the pads, and let's play hockey. <laughs> Blazers trying to leapfrog the Oilers into first place in the CHL West. Starts off first period, no score. Watch the passing. Beausoleil finally gets it past Galichuk for the score. One nothing, Tulsa on top. Blazers come right back, though. One bad boy in the box. That means it's a power play for the Blazers. And Burton, smoking Joe, doing what he does best. Gets it past the deflected stick of Erickson in for the goal. Right now, it is Oklahoma City on top, 2-1. They are in the late second period. More sports coming up tonight at 9.50. The Sooners and Cowboys kick off in less than 24 hours. We'll have a preview. Also, the Aggies and Horns go head-to-head -head with a lot more than just a football game on their minds. And Kelvin Sampson, the kids, try to stay undefeated tonight. Norman, all that and so much more coming up later on in sports. All right, looking forward to it. Thanks. And coming up on the 9 o'clock news, while you're fighting the crowds, local stores are counting the cash. It's the busiest shopping day of the year. We'll take you to the front lines at 9.30. But first, we'll tell you why traveling could be dangerous for your health. Coming up next. Look forward. No problem. Cut that a little close. Sorry. Trash can, trash can. This year, Easy. over 4 million learner's permits Easy. will be issued. So you'll be glad to know the Lexus ES300 just received the highest possible rating for front side impact protection. Hey, son, how'd you do? Dad, can I drive? Starting at 319, it's a small price to pay. See Eskridge Lexus of Oklahoma City. New worlds are not discovered on old maps. Oklahoma leaders are scrapping old, worn out regulations. Under the new telecommunications plan, Southwestern Bell will invest $200 million in high-speed internet connections and digital switching for families, schools, and businesses. Southwestern Bell will invest $30 million in technology for our schools. In Oklahoma, when the old maps are discarded, the new world will be our own. Tomorrow only, Zales is opening early with an extra savings of $100 to $200 from 8 to 10 a.m like this elegant 399 one carat diamond channel band for just 199 or these classic 499 half carat diamond stud earrings only 399 and this stunning 399 one carat diamond bracelet for just 199 that's an extra 100 to 200 dollar savings tomorrow morning only at Zales. Now at Zales, you'll find exquisite diamond and platinum jewelry. Your choice, only $1.99. Here's to another thousand years of falling in love. At Zales stores nationwide or shopsales.com. The reason I love the holidays? Well, for one, when you buy gifts for your pets online at PetSmart.com, I get to bring you up to 40 pounds of pet food absolutely free, so everybody's happy. But mostly it's because I get to wear this hat. 
Offer only available online at PetSmart.com. Medical Breakthrough, brought to you by Homeland. We begin our medical breakthrough tonight with some health news about your four-legged family members. Dog owners, beware. The tasty treats you feed your canine companion may make you sick. Treats made with pig and cow skin may contain salmonella, and while the bacteria won't harm your dog, it could make you very ill. Make sure you wash your hands after picking up those treats. As America gives thanks for its good fortune, Bill Gates' charity is reaching out to developing nations with some much-needed medicine. The Microsoft billionaire announced he's giving away $750 million over five years to make sure kids in poverty-stricken countries are properly immunized. An estimated 4 million children die every year of illnesses that can be prevented. Legendary film and stage actor Mickey Rooney is in the hospital tonight, recovering from an emergency operation. Rooney was rushed into surgery this week to fix a perforated colon. The 79-year-old performer was on tour in Sydney, Australia. There is no word on his condition. It's estimated nearly 34 million people will travel 100 miles or more this Thanksgiving weekend. Planes, trains, automobiles, and buses are packed full. But did you know that traveling can be dangerous to your health? If you're traveling by plane this holiday, you can expect to be packed in a close environment with hundreds of other people. It's a perfect way to spread infections like the cold or the flu. But contrary to popular belief, airplanes do not circulate the same air over and over again. When anybody is in close quarters with each other, whether it's in an aircraft, whether it's in a shopping mall, a movie theater, or in large family groups, they're at greater risk of transmitting respiratory illnesses. Experts say stress, fatigue, and the time change associated with travel can weaken the immune system and make you more susceptible to an infection. According to the Automobile Association of America, the majority of travelers will be on the ground this holiday. Nearly 28 million will take to the road. And if you're driving, you may have even more to worry about. One of the biggest dangers for drivers is fatigue. According to AAA, in 1998, more than 1,900 people in California alone were killed or injured in car crashes because they couldn't stay awake while driving. To avoid falling asleep at the wheel, the Automobile Club offers these tips. Allow enough time for a full night's sleep before travel. Set a limit of 300 to 400 miles of driving per day. Avoid drugs that cause drowsiness. When driving, keep moving your eyes left and right. Stay alert and stop every two hours or so to get some exercise and move around. And of course, drivers should always avoid alcohol. If you're going to drink, make sure someone else does the driving so you'll be back to celebrate the holiday again next year. And finally, if you're feeling guilty about how much you ate during Thanksgiving, think about hitting the health club. But you may be there a while. Experts say a 150-pound person must walk 12 hours on a treadmill to burn the calories you consume by eating an average Thanksgiving dinner. So, Brad, you better get going. That's the latest in medical breakthroughs. Back to you. All right, thanks a lot, and I'm on my way. Just ahead on the 9 o'clock news, if Santa needs a little help this year, he'll have no problem finding it. You'll see why in our Fox Hot Shots at 948. But first, Christmas is coming, and so is the new millennium. Could our emergency services see a total Y2K meltdown? Scott Wasserman will let us know if the city is Y2K ready. Coming up next. He says his neighbor killed his dogs. Now tell me what your understanding of the facts are. Next, Judge Mills Lane. Tonight at 1030 on Oklahoma City's Fox 25. Prices haven't slashed again. At the going out of business liquidation sale at all Jumbo Sports locations. Where all firearms are now 10% off. And everything else is now 20 to 40% off. Take a great 20% off all fishing gear, including rods and reels. 20% off all bikes, camping, and exercise equipment. Take an incredible 25% off all footwear for every sport. And take a huge 40% off all cleats. It's all at the going out of business liquidation sale. Where prices have been slashed to 20 to 40% off. Happening now at all Jumbo Sports locations. Accurate, reliable, and guaranteed. That's Fox 25 weather with meteorologists Chuck Bell and Marissa Ferger. Watch the Fox 25 weather team seven nights a week on the 9 o'clock news, only on Fox 25. Coming up on the 9 o'clock news, if you're planning a ski trip this winter, we'll show you a piece of clothing that could help to keep you safe. I'm Brent Skarkey. Coming up in sports, the countdown has begun. The Sooners, the Cowboys, kick it off tomorrow in Norman. We'll have a preview later on in sports. And if you're still feeling hungry after Thanksgiving, check out these holiday treats. We'll tell you what they're all about in our Fox Hot Shots, coming up on the 9 o'clock news. 
Hey. This is for those ready to hit the road. Hit the road. This is for a tough world. Tough world. This is for those looking for a solid experience. This, this is excitement. Well built. This is for right now. Right now. Hit the road for Pontiac driving excitement and lease a Grand Am SE for as low as $219 a month for 36 months. Call for important details. This is for me. For me. For me. Hit the road for a Pontiac driving excitement. This is for me. Crazy lines, hectic parking, and the day after Thanksgiving. And Colleen, it all adds up to the busiest shopping day of the year. First on Fox at 9.30, merchants say the heat is on after a warm November. Fox 25 Scott Wasserman tells us why this holiday shopping season is economically important. Money, money, and more money on the day consumers try to get the best buy of the year. More than $4 billion will be spent by shoppers on this day after Thanksgiving. If you want to put a cliche to it, it's like the Super Bowl of, you know, of retail. 4,000 people waited outside of Best Buy for the store to open this morning. Good news for Best Buy and other stores since sales are down this month. Nobody has started. <laughs> Nobody started Christmas shopping yet. I wasn't in the mood till Thanksgiving, till this week when it started getting cooler. The problem that we were having, even getting prepared ourselves, it was a 70 degree weather outside, you know, so it didn't really seem like Christmas until last week. But even today with the temperatures in the 60s, people seem to be lacking the holiday spirit. I mean, on the busiest shopping day of the year, you can find prime time parking spots. We were surprised. We have gotten parking places like this within five or six places of the door everywhere we've been. While much of the malls seemed less crowded than years before, there were a few stores which blossomed. This is an intergalactic emergency. KB Toys pushes the big sale and hottest toys of the season. The boys and the girls love this show. Come get it, folks. Crazy scared. At Best Buy, patient shoppers waited an hour and a half to get through the line. Okay, thank you. <laughs> and by they did, just as you've been watching this report in the last minute and a half, Consumers have spent four and a half million dollars nationwide. Retailers hope that gets everyone involved in the holiday spirit. Do you think people will ever get into the Christmas spirit if it doesn't cool down? <laughs> sure, about December the 23rd. <laughs> Scott Wasserman, Fox 25 News. Stores say 10 to 15 percent of their annual sales come from this one day. Shoppers across the metro were out this morning getting in line for the biggest shopping day of the year. The line was long at the Quail Springs Target at 6 o'clock this morning. People there were fired up to do some serious shopping. They've been planning when the stores would open and where the best deals would be. I'm here to do some serious Christmas shopping. I'm ready to find it out. These shoppers were standing in line from 15 minutes to an hour and a half. The line at Toys R Us was even longer this morning. One of the reasons people were waiting in line for free Pokemon. I tried for the Pokemon card. I really did. I'm getting the Pokemon map from me and my mom, me and my mom's friend's son. My son likes Pokemon, so we're here to get the freebie on the Pokemon stuff. Some folks stayed up all night to plan their shopping trip today. Many consumers are putting up their walking shoes and heading to the uh, computer to shop online. 30 million Americans expected to do their holiday shopping online. But before you click the mouse and fill up your virtual shopping cart, ask if websites are respecting your right to privacy. Consumers really need to ask questions before they shop online. For example, about me. What kind of information are you collecting about me? And are there benefits? Why should I give you this information? How am I going to gain from you having it? And the third and really important question, can I opt out? Experts say the most important thing consumers can do when visiting a website is to look for a privacy policy on the site, read it, and exercise the choices it offers about how your information will be used. A little girl badly burned this summer is recovering. Jenna Boland's first ride on a horse came today just six days after her fourth birthday. You may remember that Jenna was severely burned in a Memorial Day accident this year. Well, today her dad Jimmy, brother Cole, and Jenna got a treat from her physical therapist. Jenna rode peanuts bareback. Her father says her spirits are up, and Sunday she heads back to the Shriners Burn Hospital in Galveston, Texas, for three months of therapy. An Oklahoma couple is thankful to be alive this holiday weekend after their private plane had to make an emergency landing on a Tennessee highway. Brian and Chastity Driver were on their way to Murfreesboro when they were forced to land on Highway 50. Mechanical problems and a possible fuel leak 
forced them to make the emergency landing in Hickman County. PetSmart is hosting several holiday events over the next few weeks. The company started today with its annual visit of Santa Claus. Santa Claus comes so people and their pets can have their pictures taken with Old St. Nick. More than half of the proceeds made from the pictures goes to animal welfare organizations across the nation. Santa will be at stores for the rest of the weekend. Are you wanting to lose some weight after eating that big Thanksgiving feast? Why not donate blood during a holiday blood drive? When you give one pint of blood, you lose one whole pound. And while it isn't actually a recommended form of weight loss, the Oklahoma Blood Institute was at Quail Springs Mall today, helping overstuffed shoppers lose weight, so to speak. We caught some Oklahoma County Sheriff's deputies doing a good deed. Over the holiday time, you know, with people traveling and uh, our regular donors are gone, so we need some extra support. So we count on the mall drives to help make that happen. Mom, you come over, here. over 105 pints of blood were donated today, which beats last year's 90 pints. Oklahoma Senator Jim Inhofe says that he and other Republicans may hold up President Clinton's future judicial nominees if Clinton makes appointments during the current congressional recess. The administration has been sparring with Republicans since Clinton appointed James Hormel as U.S. Ambassador to Luxembourg during the Memorial Day congressional break. In just 35 days, we embark on a new century, a century that could bring us the most advanced technology ever. That's if our current technology doesn't fail when the new millennium hits. Fox 25's Scott Wasserman joins us with a look at how Oklahoma City is dealing with Y2K. So far, so good in Oklahoma City. No Y2K glitches. But that's not to say it can't happen. In Maine, the state started renewing car tags for horse-drawn carriages. The computers read the year 2000 as 1900. From computers to our 911 system, many are asking if we're A-OK -okay for Y2K. As the clock winds down to 2000, many are cautiously anticipating what will happen come midnight. As you're out and about, as the clock strikes 12, will the city's lights go out altogether? In the case of that total meltdown, we'll, you put, our primary concern is the loss of electrical service. For that reason, 1,500 stop signs are stored away, just in case street lights fail. Concerns range from those scared of Y2K causing an overload of the system to those people who may go crazy thinking the end of the world is near. They are prepared for these individuals who think that it's the uh, last days of Armageddon. Already, the Oklahoma County Jail learned from Y2K. During a check of the system, the jail shut down power, learning that floors 8 through 13 were not hooked up to the backup generator. A major concern because the 13th floor houses the medical ward. This has a lot more impact just than Y2K. It's, uh, it's really an everyday operational aspect for us. Okay, we're going to check for a pulse, and this is how you're going to do it. But the biggest concern for citizens could come down to the 911 system. A report earlier this month in USA Today shows that half of local 911 emergency services may be unprepared for Y2K. This is EMSA. Where do you need the ambulance? Here in Oklahoma City, EMSA says not to worry. Help will be available when the new year hits. Paul Shipley controls the communication center, the nerve center for IMSA. Naturally, I'm going to be concerned because if the system goes down, we're, we're, we're dead in the water. To prepare for the possible Y2K glitch, IMSA plans on practicing manual dispatching. That means shutting off the lights and turning off these computers, dispatching emergency vehicles the way they did before this technology existed. This place was Y2K a long time ago, complying a long time ago, when, when it was a paper dispatch ticket system. Uh, and ambulances still got the calls, and we still save people's lives. Since 1995, more than $850,000 has been spent upgrading the system. Part of the upgrading involves the communications between dispatch and the IMSA truck. The two parts work together as a team. Without one, the other cannot function. Without this center, basically IMSA is crippled. So with the possibility of that meltdown, IMSA says double the staff will man the center and the streets to respond to emergencies. Emergencies, IMSA believes, will never happen. I expect for a lot of people um, to be instantly concerned about their well-being. And once a minute or so passes, the world hasn't stopped. Party on and have a great evening. IMSA and other agencies will be watching places like Australia and the East Coast closely since they hit the new year before we do. That should give us a heads up as to what problems Oklahoma City might run into. All right. Thank you, Scott. And coming up, Marissa's up next with your five-day forecast. Plus, they may be too pretty to eat. We'll show you some delicious structures coming up. But first, a look at closing stocks on an abbreviated trading day.
This is anniversary month at Ferguson Pontiac Buick GMC in Norman. 25 years in business means $25 over invoice and you keep the rebates. That means Suburban's price $19.75 under invoice. Bonneville's $24.75 under invoice. 2,000 Grand Am's $4.75 under invoice. $7.25 under on 2,000 Centuries. $25 over invoice on GMC Extended Cabs. $12.25 under invoice on 2,000 Sonoma Trucks. $14.75 under invoice on 2,000 Four-Door Jimmy's. 25 years, 25 over invoice and you keep the rebates at Ferguson Pontiac Buick GMC on the Milo Cars in Norman. house restaurant the best chicken fry in the universe and so much more now at zales celebrate the new millennium with diamonds for only 99 dollars dazzling diamond earrings elegant diamond rings even diamond heart pendants each just 99 dollars a pretty great price for something that lasts a lifetime and with any purchase of 99 dollars or more you can also get this rose box with classic diamond earrings for just $29 at Zale Stores Nationwide or ShopZales.com. It's the Sleep Gallery Furniture Recliner Blowout. We're overstocked. We've marked every recliner in the store at 30 to 60% off. This chain's recliner by Classic Motion, regular $5.99 is just now $2.99. This big man's chair by Classic Motion was $8.99, now just $3.99. This electric recliner by Bushline, regular $10.99, now just $4.99. Hurry in for the best selection and best price and get 90 days same as cash at one of Sleep Gallery's two locations, 4200 West Reno in Oklahoma City or 2203 West Main in Norman. Marissa Ferger's Weather, brought to you by Four Seasons Siding and Windows. Yeah, everybody out shopping today, but what is this near 70 degrees today? I know, I can't believe it's, what are we, we're almost at Christmas. That's right. I was driving past the golf course on the way to work today, and it was just mm -hmm. packed with people. So some people were smart and took advantage of the nice weather we had today instead of doing the shopping and putting it off kind of like, what I'm planning on doing, but it was gorgeous today, and it looks like it's going to be a gorgeous day tomorrow once again. Right now, things are cooling down just a little bit. Our temperature at 46 degrees. The relative humidity is at 55%. The barometric pressure is falling as high pressure now slides off to our east, and the winds are out of the south-southeast at 9 miles per hour. Just a few clouds in the skies right now. Temperatures relatively mild. This time last night, they were about 5 to 10 degrees cooler than where they are now. Guthrie currently 53 degrees. Ponca City, 55. Guymon, very warm. 60 degrees right now. Muskogee is at 49. So we're all in the upper 40s and lower 50s. Satellite loop shows high pressure dominating Oklahoma right now. Clear skies throughout the day today. Just a fair few other clouds. And it looks like tomorrow is going to be the same. You can see to our north, there are a few clouds, but we really won't be affected by those. If we see any, they will be far and few between. So another gorgeous day is expected. Now, if you are doing any traveling tomorrow, you can watch out for the east coast. We have a storm system moving through now. This should push off most of the East Coast by tomorrow. However, New England, you are going to be very rainy and wet tomorrow, as well as the Great Lakes states where we could expect some lake effect snow. So they're feeling a little bit like Christmas. And you can see Ohio here now beginning to clear out. However, some clouds will move in. And we have some weather video for you from Blue Creek, Ohio. And talk about a family with Christmas spirit. Over one million lights this family has in their yard. They put this up every year, and unfortunately... The Cincinnati suburb is not going to see this again because this is the last year that the residents of Blue Creek, Ohio, are going to do this. So one million lights. I don't know. Those people really are into the spirit of things. Tomorrow it's going to be hard to get in the holiday spirit because it's just going to be so darn nice outside. The temperature guaranteed high tomorrow, 69 degrees. So a great day if you're heading down to Norman for the Bedlam game tomorrow. Dallas, 77 degrees tomorrow. But notice this frontal system making its way to our region. There is high pressure sitting well to our south and east, and that'll help bring in some southwesterly winds tomorrow morning. But as we go throughout the day, this front will start moving through, and as it does, we are going to start seeing the winds come more out of a northerly fashion. So tomorrow evening, we'll get down to 38 degrees, and on Sunday, we'll cool off, but only to 65. So this is more of a cool front than a cold front, and it really doesn't have any moisture to deal with either. So we're not going to feel the effects of it very much tonight across the metro light southerly winds temperatures in the upper 30s and lower 40s and for tomorrow a fantastic day getting to the upper 60s and lower 70s again the winds shifting late in the afternoon 
And tonight, across the state, a gorgeous night. No problems for travelers with the temperatures well above freezing. And tomorrow, another gorgeous day across the state. Outdoor activities are strongly encouraged because it's going to be gorgeous. But hey, so is this entire five-day forecast. It looks like we're going to continue to be on track for the fifth driest November for the state. Our no rain is expected until Thursday of next week. And the temperatures in the middle 60s all week long. And we do have a winner today. Our forecasted high was 64 degrees. We did not get that. We got up to 65. So Mary Pelton of Tryon, Oklahoma, give us a call at 843-2525 on Monday to claim your Fox 25 winter weather gear. And she doesn't really need it during the day, but at night it gets pretty chilly. That's right. Here. It's about time. I mean, we haven't mm -hmm. been giving out very much of that. And that's some pretty neat gear you have, too. Oh, I know. It's nice and warm and fuzzy. Oh, thanks. <laughs> thanks, Marissa. Winter sports can be extremely dangerous with the risk of avalanches threatening to make a day of skiing, snowboarding, or hiking a deadly endeavor. But now there's a new invention that just might save your life in a potentially fatal situation. Fox's Rick Garcia has more. Thousands of tons of snow thundering down a mountain, covering everything in its path. Avalanches are an awesome and sometimes deadly phenomenon. Two-thirds of avalanche fatalities in this country are caused by suffocation. Once you're buried, uh, there is a very high risk of mortality, and that is probably a very unpleasant way to die, to suffocate under the snow. To avoid that fate, Dr. Tom Crowley, a backcountry skier, invented the Avalung, a vest that draws and filters air from the snowpack. There's only one way to actually test the vest, bury someone in the snow. That's what's happening to volunteer Chris Harmston. This kind of burial would normally kill a person in 10 to 15 minutes. But with the vest and a medical team constantly monitoring his vital signs, he remains completely covered in snow for one hour. The moment of truth comes when Chris is dug out. How do you feel? Well, I'm cold. Cold, but alive and able to describe the sensations. Dark, cold can't move. The breathing is, you feel like you're air hungry. And what about the vest? It works. It lets you breathe. It's pretty amazing. The Avalung is manufactured by a company called Black Diamond and sells for about $198. But if you ever see this coming your way, it'll be the best money you've ever spent. Rick Garcia, Fox News. That Wait. is absolutely amazing. He's braver than I am. Yeah, I'd get claustrophobia inside there yeah. just testing that out. I know it. Well, some tasty landmarks ready just in time for the new millennium. And a couple of cute critters. <laughs> they all make our Fox Hot Shot. Santa has some new help for a sleigh this year. This rare set of reindeer twins was born in Wisconsin. And now the seven-month-old babies are being displayed to the public for the first time. The duo looks all ready for the holiday season. The baby panda in San Diego is taking his first glimpse of the outside world. The panda who gave birth last August at the San Diego Zoo strolled outside the birthing den today with baby in tow. It's the first visit to the outside world since the cub was born. And it wasn't just a one-shot deal. Zookeepers say the 220-pound mother actually made 14 separate trips into the garden room early this morning, though no trip was longer than four minutes. It's a sweet treat that's part of the Millennium Experience and comes courtesy of the Ritz-Carlton in Virginia. The hotel is displaying a two-ton gingerbread statue of three of the world's best-known landmarks, Big Ben, the Eiffel Tower, and Times Square. The display of what the Ritz-Carlton calls its Millennium Experience will continue until January 2nd, 2000. Awesome chocolate there, huh? Doesn't that look good? Look like Ben Ben also, Big Ben also had a working clock on it. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Still to come on the 9 o'clock news. Birds of a feather usually flock together, but this guy got lost. His story at 9.58. I'm Brooks Starkey, and coming up in sports, the high school football playoffs shove it into overdrive and close the night before Bedlam. OU and OSU ready to run, and Norman will have a preview. Sports is next on Fox 25. Hot Shots, brought to you by Commercial Federal Bank.
to rattle all the fans. The Cowboys and Cowgirls are coming to the Marriott Sunday, December 12th. The Cowgirls tip off at 1 versus Long Beach State. The Cowboys follow against San Diego State. Prices are $16, $13, and $10. Call the OSU ticket office at 877-ALL-4-OSU. Tickets available cash only at all ticket source locations, including the Marriott box office, Rose State Performing Arts Theater, and participating CD warehouse stores. Charge by phone at 297-3000. The Cowboys and Cowgirls. Brought to you by Fox 25 and WB34. Hi, I'm Roger Mathis with Factory Direct. If you're thinking of replacing your bedroom furniture, come to Factory Direct and see real value for the money on this solid wood group from Factory Direct. This set is constructed of solid wood and has no pressed wood or particle board, and the price is just what you'd expect from Factory Direct. The dresser, mirror, headboard, and nightstand is only $6.99 or $24 per month. $6.99 for a solid wood group. Available for immediate pickup or delivery at Oklahoma's fastest growing furniture store and mattress factory, Factory Direct at Reno and Portland. There's seasonal savings now. At Statuary World. Patio and Fireside. See Christmas lawn ornaments, reindeer, sleigh, and snowman. With lights ready to display or wire them yourself. See our large selection of pellet gas and wood-burning stoves and inserts. Jodel, earth stove, and hearthstone. Also, Hargrove gas logs, the most realistic gas logs. And for Christmas, a child's delight. The famous rainbow play systems. Over 50 to choose from. It's all at Statuary World. Patio and Fireside. Two locations. North. On I-35 between Britain and Wilshire. South. In more on I-35 south of the 89th Street exit. Brent Skarky Sports, brought to you by the Oklahoma Energy Resource Board. Well, good evening, everyone. It's Friday night, and you know what that means. It's time for high school football. The playoffs really getting interesting now. The semifinals kicking off tonight in the 5A ranks. A huge matchup in Norman, undefeated El Reno, taking on 8-4 and four McAllister. Winner of this one goes to the big dance. Take a look at the fun early on. We start you off with the Buffaloes up already 7-0 in the second quarter when Ryan Shumway does the Indians a favor. He puts the ball on the ground. Mike Little is the guy that comes up with it, and the Indians take over. El Reno in business on the 17. Tailback Faf Carter takes it. Where is he? There he is. He's in for the touchdown. Indians make it 7-6 in favor of McAllister. Right now they're late in the fourth with El Reno on top by 10, 24-14. The winner of that game will probably face Carl Albert because right now the Titans up on the Comets in the other semifinal game, 14-7. to That will be the finals of the 5-8. Well, th tomorrow also two of the state's biggest schools go head-to-head. -head, a ton on the line. Both teams win a, won a Bedlam win to stay on track to go to a bowl game. And, of course, bragging rights are on the line in the state. And the game this year has a little different look thanks to all the new faces on the Sooner side. Quarterback Josh Heupel playing in his first Bedlam game. But he knows about rivalries. When he was at Snow Junior College in Utah, they had a rivalry of their own, the Dixie Rebels. That had to have been big, right? <laughs> we had a big rivalry. It was an in-state rival as well. Um, I don't think it's going to draw 70-some thousand fans like it does here. But, uh, you know, a special brand. Uh, you know, families, again, were divided at that time. And, and uh, so it's something unique and uh, something special about game football. Well, this game kicks off tomorrow at 2 o'clock right on Fox Sports. That's channel 37 on Cox Cable. Also, the Big 12 coaches announced their all-conference team. No Sooners or Cowboys make the first team, but the second team, OU's Josh Heupel, Rocky Kalmus, Brandon Daniels. And on the OSU side, Marcellus Rivers makes the second team all Big 12. More Big 12 football and a very emotional day today in College Station for Texas A&M. Not only were the Aggies playing their biggest rival, Texas, but A&M also mourning the death of 12 students thanks to that tragic bonfire accident, the Blue Angels flying overhead and the flags at half staff for the game. And maybe the biggest story early on, Major Applewhite, the quarterback for the Longhorns, he's got a stomach virus, so they send Phil's son, Chris Sims, in place of him. Didn't need him when you've got a back like, er, mm -hmm. here we go with Hodges Mitchell, 17 yards for the touchdown, makes it 7-6 Texas. They lead 16-6 at the half. But in the second half, back come the Aggies. McCown to Bumgardner, 14 yards, makes it 20-16 in favor of the Aggies. Final play in the fourth quarter, Texas has a chance. Major Applewhite back in the game. He fumbles, and Texas goes down and defeat. The Aggies get the very emotional 2016 win. I mean, it's unexplainable. I mean, you know, I know God and those 12 Aggies were looking down on us today. And, uh, you know, they helped us you know, play to the best of our ability and pull through and win the game. Well, more Big 12 action. The Huskers, they needed a win in Colorado today to go to the Big 12 championship game, possibly the national championship game. And the Huskers, they got out to a big lead early, thanks in part to this guy, Alexander. He had 180 yards rushing on the day. Here's 80 of them. 
Career high for him. Huskers lead at one point, 27 to three, but Colorado comes back behind the arm of Mike Machete, the quarterback that beat up on OU, doing his best to do the same to the Huskers. Six guys on him when he hits this one in the end zone to Green for the touchdown, 27-20. Then after a successful onside kick, this one ties the game at 27. Then final seconds of the fourth quarter, 35-yarder for Colorado to win it. No. Thank you for playing. He pushes it right. We go to overtime, and in the overtime period, Eric Crouch in for the one-yard touchdown run. Nebraska stays in the hunt for the Big 12 championship and the national championship. They will face Texas next. The team, the Huskers, trying to leapfrog for the number two spot in the BCS standings. Virginia Tech, the number two ranked Hokies, taking on number 22 Boston College in Blacksburg. And Michael Vick, the all-everything quarterback, just throws it as far as he can. And Andre Davis runs under it. 69 yards for the touchdown. Vick, 290 yards passing, three touchdowns through the air. 76 yards on the ground. They go on for the victory due to the Hokies. 38-22 is your final. Take a look at that. Philadelphia and Washington, that's the game on Sunday on Fox 25. 12 o'clock kickoff right here on KOKH. Let's next go to hoops and the Sooner basketball team trying to stay undefeated. Last weekend, OU wins the top of the world tournament in Fairbanks, Alaska. This week in Norman, the Sooners in the Holiday Classic. OU taking on the University of San Diego. Starts you off with Renzai Stone. Nice turnaround for the deuce. OU up four. Then Kelly Newton. He's a guy that OU's going to have to count on a lot this year. And Newton with the pull-up jumper is good. OU by 14 right now. They are in the second half on top only by five, 50 to 45. Let's go to the NBA Harwood this first. Trying to make it four in a row tonight. Taking on the Bulls. And Will Purdue getting his championship ring. He's playing for Chicago now. And guess who's scoring for the Spurs? I think I'm shooting now and scoring. It's Tim Duncan right now. 86-70. Spurs on top.